guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for clicking on today's Christmas video. So today, I've seen a lot of comments asking how I do a top knot with my short little bob. So I thought I would share a quick little easy tutorial on how you can get a really nice full bun with a very short little bob. Alright, so to do this you need some dry shampoo, some hairspray, two elastics, a brush and multiple bobby pins, if you don't lose them and two hunks of hair extensions that somewhat match your hair color. It doesn't have to be bang on, it has to be pretty close. I like using a four clip long one and a two clip long one. So first you need to choose where you want the ponytail to go. Personally, I like having them quite high up, so I kind of sit it just past the crown of my head a little bit forward. So what I'm gonna do is collect a chunk of hair just around that crown area. And it doesn't necessarily have to be all that neat, you're just looking to kind of grab that much and create a little ponytail with it. You could also use a tinier elastic, but I didn't have any, and this is all I had. So I have my little sprout pony on the top of my head, and just make sure that you kind of adjust it to where you want it. I'm gonna take a little bit of dry shampoo in my hands, or if you have a spray or dry shampoo, you can just spray directly onto your head. But what I'm gonna do is take some of that powder and just rub that into the front of my head, just to make the hair a little bit grittier. Just like that. I want the hair to be a little bit grittier so that it doesn't sit so slick against my head. I feel like if you really, really slick back this type of pony, you can kind of see where the bump is, where the extensions are. So I like to have it a little bit looser and sometimes a little bit more messy and gathered. So what I'm gonna do is take my four clip and I'm going to undo the clips. And then finding that base of the pony, I'm gonna find the very, very back and then start to put the clips in around the base of the pony. So basically have it like this and I flip and turn it as it goes so the clips go under and in and then the next one comes all the way around to the other side which then tight against that little pony nub goes under and clip and you just basically wind it all the way around under and clip so then you're left with this like ponytail oh yes give it to me I'm gonna grab my two clip weft and going to the back again I'm going to clip this in right at the nub of that ponytail. Right there, looks like that. Okay, I'm gonna keep the second elastic on my wrist so that it's easy access to put it on as a ponytail in just a sec. I'm gonna grab my brush and flip my head upside down and basically gather all of my hair just like I would a regular ponytail, but gather it over top of that ponytail bump that we've made. Now my goal with this isn't to get all of the hair in one go because it definitely won't happen. I'm just trying to get kind of the upper layer as you can kind of see if I move my arm back. I have my little like mullet layer underneath and a ponytail layer and then the rest is kind of scooped up and in into the ponytail. And so what I'm gonna do is try and keep all the hairs that can fit in the ponytail into that ponytail. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna do one scoop up the back to try and get any other loose hairs that I can and I just kind of move my hands over the ponytail to kind of collect any loose ends. You can also take the brush and try and straighten everything out just to kind of make the top neat. You kind of got to do this in steps. Once I've got that, I'm going to then put my ponytail around the pony. So, once, twice, and then on the second time, um, I'm gonna just pull it, oh no, it's stuck in my lip gloss. Oh, I'm gonna pull it through, but just kind of leave it in a little loop, just like that. And then this, you can basically play around with. You can either twirl it around and kind of adjust it like that and then pin it down. Uh, if you want to, you could also split it into two pieces and then put both pieces around in opposite directions and kind of wind it around that way and then it gives you a little bit more hair to kind of stuff around and play with. Uh, then you can pin this in place. You basically just muck around with your bun to how you want it to look and then you pin it down in place. So I'm gonna do that. I think this time I'm gonna twist it into two and then twist it around just a little bit and then wind it around. And I like to kind of do that because sometimes it gives it a little bit more texture and then when you have a bit more texture, you can play around and pull pieces out a little bit easier in the end and it just looks a little bit more natural. So. I like how that's going. Uh, if you have one of those tiny clear little elastic bands, you could totally put that over top of this, but again, I don't have that. So I'm just going to bobby pin this into place. 
um, and make sure you're shoving the bobby pins down and kind of into the bun. You'll feel it kind of enter into the hair extension and then hold itself in there. And I like to use multiple bobby pins just to make sure that everything is completely in place. Okay, we're left about half done like this. Uh, you can use a serum if you want to, but I just like to use hairspray. I'm going to hairspray the front a little bit and then take my brush and tame down all of those little baby hairs and just scoop them all back into the ponytail using a brush. You could use like a little rat tail comb too, but I don't own one of those. I'm going to also spray it onto my fingers and then just use that to kind of comb back my little baby hairs. So what I'm going to do is take my little back sections and split it into kind of like little ponytail nibs. And what I do is I take that little nib and then I twist it. And I twist it up. And then I'm going to take one of my bobby pins and I pin it directly to my head. And usually this little tail bit will flare out, but I'm just kind of looking to pin near the bottom, like right in here, just so that it holds. And then for my next bobby pin, I'll take that and I'll get this next little flicked out part. So push it up near my head and then pin it into place. With the bobby pin, instead of going flat across, I'm gonna put it up and in. So open it up and then put it up and hide it in. And so this back area is never going to be 100% neat. That's why I like going for a bit of a messy look with it because it makes it look a little bit normal to have it be a little bit disheveled in the back if the rest of it's a little bit scrubby messy too. Uh, let's do that same with the other side and then once more pin that little top bit up and in. And then once you have the mini pins in, you can chuck any extra little pins in to catch any of the flyaways or fallouts. Like I said, nothing is going to be 100% perfect up the back, it's just that's just what you get for having short hair. But by twisting it, it kind of keeps the hair somewhat more in place than if you were to just try and flip it and pin it. So that's my little tip. But I'm going to do uh, a little bit of hairspray in the back, spray it, and then try and keep those little baby hairs at least somewhat plastered up. And then once you've hairsprayed, that is pretty much it. You have your hair up in a bun. You can kind of adjust your bun as you see fit. Sometimes I like to make mine fluffy and huge. Sometimes I like to make mine more like twisted and intertwined. Totally up to the style that you want to do. I'm going to stick with my messy, messy bun today. Um, if I had another bobby pin, I'd probably bobby pin this down. But I ran out of bobby pins. <laughs> I love this. I think it is such an easy thing to do. And it just gives you another option with your look. Sometimes you can get frustrated when you've cut your hair short that you just don't have the option of putting your hair up again. But this definitely is super simple and I really recommend you guys try it. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy and leave me a comment down below if there's any content that you guys would like to see over Christmas. Thank you again for watching my video and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!